All right, let's get All right, let's get started. Today while browsing Twitter, I came across this question by this Twitter user and no code enthusiast Jared. And Jared asks here, how is it possible to send a list of text to an Integromat web webhook and create one thing per list item in the bubble database on a free plan? Integromat is a service which helps tie things together. And I believe it seems to me like from the response that Integromat is able to create bulk data things through their service. However, there is also a way to do this without using an external service and do it with Bubble itself by issuing calls through it to an API that Bubbles pro Bubble provides as part of its service. So it is pretty straightforward. And for demonstration, I will use a sample application in which I have created a data type called character. And character has basically one field called name. And before we go forward, let me try and create a sample entry into the character table and let's call it Harry Potter. Next, to be able to access the API for any bubble application, you need to go to settings and then the API tab and you need to enable data APIs for the data collection or in, in bubble that's called uh, the data things to be accessible throughout through then through an API. And also you need to provide an API token. And I just created a sample token here and I'm ready to use that through Postman, which is basically a way to call the bubble API through a user interface. Getting the API is pretty f straightforward as is explained in the manual, which I'll put in the uh, documentation section. And here basically we are calling my application, the test version of it, followed by API version, followed by the object, which is in this case called a character. Before, before I go forward with creating an application, let me try and test out getting the data, which is basically the sample data that I just entered for this particular thing called character, and that's Harry Potter. Issuing this is through a get request, and the only setting that is required here is the authorization, which is done through a bearer token, and the token is entered into this field in Postman. I send this request, and as expected, this gives me back the result into the database, which is basically a name in Harry Potter. Now let's look at issuing bulk requests to the bulk creation API for new things. And that is again, very straightforward. You basically, when you send data, you send through a data through a post request with all the required data and you're calling the same URL with slash bulk at the end of it to basically let bubble know that you want to create multiple things and here i'll use uh, most of the most of the data as you can see here is default creations on of uh, of of the uh, collection only name is the one which has been created as a by the user and therefore you can just use the body with the raw format as a plain text and provide the list of items that you want to provide separated by a new line and click send. When you click send, the data goes over to Bubble as a bulk request and you have success messages for each of these items. And if you see here, Harry Potter is created here and the other characters are reflecting in the database. This is a quick and easy way to experiment with Bubble's functionality without relying any third-party tool. But however, 
it is it is very effective in my opinion to learn the functionality that bubble equips the user with in order in, in order to be able to make the most of the platform which is in my opinion fantastic it's a fantastic no code tool and gives you a lot of power to create real functional applications through bubble